Longwell is going to come onto the field. Well, give Minnesota credit. Brad Childress was, he was aggressive, which he's been all year. This is going to shape up to be about a 53 yarder. No, 58 yarder, excuse me. From 58 yards away. Longwell got it away. And it comes up just short. And they're going to return it. This Here is from Marty. <laughs> and from Marty down the right sideline with a head of steam to the 30. And Brad Childress, you could fry an egg on the top of his head. His field goal kicking team just went to sleep on a long field goal. You got to act like you're on a punt team and you have to cover it. And Antonio Cromartie, with two touchdowns last week, continues his streak of being developing into one of the more dangerous guys in the NFL with a football in his hand. He returned an interception 70 yards for a touchdown a week ago against the Houston Texans, recovered a ball in an end zone, and now returns a field goal 109 yards for a touchdown to end the first half. He is two inches from stepping on the back line of the end zone. You couldn't be any farther back in the end zone. And this field goal coverage team, mostly linemen, and there's no way. He, watch how close he comes to stepping on the back line, fielding that ball right there. I mean, what a sensational piece of athleticism to catch that ball and stay in Browns. 109 yards doesn't do it justice. It's no. more than that. Halftime in Minnesota, 14-7 Chargers.